Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick the Sony Play Memories app on the Sony uh, A6500 camera. Uh, the first time I installed this, I installed it on my um, new Moto Z Play phone, and I had some Wi Fi conflicts with my own um, network at the house and everything else, and I didn't like how I was going, so I took basically an old cell phone. Right here is an old. Um, uh, Motorola, I don't know, Droid Mini or something like that, but I've got several old smartphones and just booted it up, wiped everything out, and so the only thing on it now is the Play Memories app. So you can actually see I was using it to frame myself up for this right here uh, because the A6500 does not have a flip out screen. So if you're doing a self video or a vlog or something like that, and I'm a big hunter, so doing some type of uh, interview, it's rather difficult to frame everything. So you can check it with this. Look, see, yeah, I like where I'm at, and start talking to the camera. So walk you through on there. But basically, um, you're just going to, uh, uh, once you get everything connected, uh, when you flip on the camera, you unlock your phone. I don't even have to launch the app on my phone and touch the NFC to the side of the camera, and it launches on both the camera and the phone. It takes a five, 10 seconds or so to boot up and get everything going, but I don't know that it work for a monitor, say, so you're watching the deer come in and all that. I just think that there's too much time lag and you got battery drain with the Wi-Fi and everything, but if you're setting up for a pre-hunt interview or a success, um, you know, you got your deer propped up or whatever and, and frame things up, I think it's a, a good option for these cameras. So uh, just a little tip on that. Um, that's it. If you got any questions, uh, you know, be sure to ask. I really have done a lot of research on this camera, and, and I think it's going to be great for as my primary hunting setup for this year. So here's a great example of how in hunting or in the outdoor industry how you could use this Play Memories app on the Sony A65 or I guess the 6000 or the 6300s. Um, I basically framed this up. There you can see me using the app. Got the camera how I wanted relative to shooting a bow. So I'm running right now in 4K. It doesn't run in the memory positions like M1 and M2, but I've got it in the movie mode. I'm shooting in uh, 4K. Um, I could set this at high speed 1080 or whatever I wanted, but it's kind of cool. You can frame yourself up. I was able to hit the record button. You can see the little red button there if I want to stop it. Uh, it's got some basic functions. You could zoom in if you want to just a little bit. Um, well, you can zoom the whole range, but it's kind of slow and kind of laggy. Um, but again, it's for a framing up purpose, it works great. So um, yeah, but just uh, shoot, you know. There you go. So now you can do all your product videos. Um, you know, or whatever, or just film yourself shooting, you know, whatever you want to do. Just using this app on these new Sony cameras, it's pretty sweet. So, you know, again, when you're done, you just push the red stop button. Again, if you got any questions, just ask.